boy's job appraisal. A little boy went into a drugstore, reached for a soda carton, and pulled it over to the telephone. He climbed onto the carton, so that he could reach the buttons on the phone, and proceeded to punch in seven digits, phone numbers. The store owner observed, and listened to the conversation. Lady, can you give me the job of cutting your lawn? I already have someone to cut my lawn. Lady, I will cut your lawn for half the price of the person who cuts your lawn now. I'm very satisfied with the person who is presently cutting my lawn. Lady, I will even sweep your curb and your sidewalk, so on Sunday, you will have the prettiest lawn in all of Palm Beach, Florida. No, thank you. With a smile on his face, the little boy replaced the receiver. The store owner, who was listening to all this, walked over to the boy. Son. I like your attitude. I like that positive spirit, and would like to offer you a job. No thanks. But you were really pleading for one. No sir, I was just checking my performance at the job I already have. I am the one who is working for that lady I was talking to. Moral of the story, this is what we call self-appraisal. Every time if we don't get ahead of others, we blame others for it. We should look to ourself, and compare, find own weaknesses, and work hard to throw away weaknesses. Always work hard, honest and with full dedication. It will always pay up. The moral lesson of this story is, that success in life often comes from hard work, and dedication, not just natural talent, or intelligence. It's important to focus on what you can control, like your effort and attitude, rather than what you can't control, like your natural abilities or circumstances. With hard work, you can overcome any challenges that come your way, and achieve your goals. Thanks for spending your time, at Growth Partner Channel, we wish you got your life-changing moment, for a better future. Nobody, and nothing, can change your future, but you. Let's start your first step, small step but consistent, is the key.